Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about LED strips. Specifically, we're going to be talking about RGB style LED strips, which stand for red, green, and blue. Those are very versatile. You can use them for almost any activity you want. And if you're good enough, you can actually maybe manipulate them to what you need, maybe make them fade colors or anything. But that's besides the point. So today we're going to be talking about how to use them and maybe even review the product. All right, so it's a spool just like this one right here. You can put it on a roller so that it rolls out just like that, or you can just leave it how it is. But just make sure you save the bag because those LEDs right there apparently are sensitive to static, and that bag right there is an ESD bag, so it prevents it from getting any damage. The neat thing about these LED strips is that every few LEDs, you can actually cut them and solder on a wire. So let me show you really quick. So you can see the copper contacts right there. There are little pair of scissors right there and that's where you're supposed to slice the wire through. You can use uh, scissors or uh, a blade or anything that won't damage the surface you're on pretty much. But as soon as you cut those you'll be able to solder on the wire you need onto those contacts. So just cut it right in the middle. Okay so I've gone ahead and set up a small circuit here. The breadboard you see on your left is only being used so I can probe the voltage and hold my wires down while I work. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see that will be the positive and that's the negative. So let's go ahead and use a multimeter to test see if there's voltage. Okay so I've gone ahead and placed them. Now let me go ahead and turn on the power source. Okay so as you can tell we're getting a pretty stable 12.27 volts. It's okay to be a little over. No worries. But just make sure that it's in this correct polarity because LEDs will not work if you have them backwards. So let's go ahead and start wiring them up. The next step is easy. We just need to cut them. It's pretty straightforward. All you need are your wire cutters. So we'll go ahead and use these little wire cutters I have here. And we'll cut it right in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so as you can tell, we already split them. Now we should be ready to go. Now we'll go ahead and... Peel back the silicon waterproofing, and that should be pretty much it. Now, we'll after that, we'll solder, and we'll be ready to go. So here, I'm just sticking the knife right between the PCB, which is where the white part is, the bottom part, and the clear part. So I'm just separating it there. That part, for some reason, already came soldered, but that's the part I'm going to use because I'm running low on solder right now. Sorry, guys, but... Just to show you, we'll, do, we'll peel the other side too, so I'm going to go ahead and peel that part back. You can see it's starting to come apart. Just make sure you give it a nice slow tug because if you pull it hard, you risk damaging some components or tearing the PCB part. And once you got it peeled back far enough, like right there, go ahead and grab your cutters and just cut that, snip that little piece off. Okay, so here's where things start to get a little interesting. If you notice on the label, you see a 12 and a plus on top of it. That's the first pin you're going to want to solder. That's going to be a positive 12 volts. Remember, polarity matters in these LED strips. R, G, and B are going to be the colors, and those are going to be negatives. So that current can flow. Remember, a closed circuit, guys. We need a closed circuit. So by grounding that, you, you create the full circuit. Now, remember that polarity matters don't forget that because if not you'll be breaking your head because you won't be able to figure out why the leds won't turn on so let's go ahead and get to that already i'm going to solder that wire to the 12 pin let's go ahead and do that now just remember guys keep your solder i mean your your wire at the thinnest gauge you can because here is where it matters because you can touch the wires together and that wouldn't be good because you're getting 12 volts pretty much straight from the battery and they're going to short circuit. That being said, also include fuses. Don't forget the fuses. That's pretty important too. So let's just get that 12 volt pin soldered on there. All right, now that the positive 12 pin is hooked up, we can start with the demonstration. So you see we got a blue and then right after that blue, we got a red, and then right after red, we got green. Green is the one closest to the pin, 12-volt uh, pin, so be careful if you're testing out the way I am here. You don't want to short them out accidentally. 
and you see all you need is that ground wire to turn on those colors you can mix and match you can put uh, let's say uh, a red and blue together to make a purple like this pretty nice purple or uh, yellow ish color which is red and green or just play around with it I definitely recommend this product it's pretty bright LEDs for and then they're only like 12 13 bucks I'll post a link to eBay so here's a quick demonstration with the lights dimmer so you guys can see what they look like all right guys like and subscribe these to these videos if you want more and let me know in the comments what you guys think what maybe we can do with him all right see you guys in the next one Baby, come back in and you'll see